Welcome to the channel. I hope that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set multiple take profits and scale out of a position on the BitGet Spot Exchange. Let's get into the video. First things first, we want to choose some price points that we wish to take profit at. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools. And maybe we're looking at the bottom side of this price action right here as our first target. So I'll go ahead and mark that area. Then we'll grab another horizontal. Maybe we want to set a second target somewhere near the top of that price action like so. And then just for fun, let's set a third target, perhaps somewhere up around this wick right here. Good enough for this demonstration. There's a couple ways we can set some take profits. We can use limit orders and place those onto the order book. And we can also do trigger market orders. And I'll demonstrate both of those in this tutorial. So what we'll do is we'll come down here to the order panel. We'll make sure it's set to limit order. Then we'll come over here on the sell side and we'll make sure it says limit order in this box here as well. Now we need to type in the price point of our first target. And of course, we can see those price points on the Y axis of the chart because I went ahead and marked them with horizontals. So the first price target is 28,428. Now we need to choose the amount of the asset that we wish to sell if that first target gets hit. And of course, we can see our available balance right here up at the top. So let's go ahead and sell one third of this balance if the first target gets hit. So we'll go not point not not one. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'll go ahead and click on sell BTC. Then you'll get your order confirmation pop up window confirming the details of your order. We can see here that this is a limit order as intended at the price of 28,428 to sell the amount of 0.001 BTC. If everything checks out the way that you intended, just simply click on confirm. Now we've placed that order on the order book. If price action continues to the upside and hits my first target, I'll be selling approximately one third of the asset that I own. And we can find the order details if we come down here at the bottom left hand side of the screen under open orders, click on limit orders, and here's where you'll see the details of your first limit order. Now let's go ahead and set up a limit order for our second target. And of course, we can see that target marked out by this horizontal on the chart. And there's a price point correlating to it coming in at 31,609. So let's go ahead and type that into price. 31,609. Now let's choose the amount we wish to sell if price action reaches our second target. And of course, we can see our available balance right here. So let's go ahead and do another not point not not one. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'll go ahead and click on sell. Of course, confirm the details, make sure you put everything in correctly. And if you did, click on confirm. Now we've placed that second order onto the order book. Now let's go ahead and do our third target. We can see the price point correlating to the third horizontal coming at 34,223. So let's go ahead and type that into price. 34,223. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just sell what remains if this price point gets hit. So I'll slide this up to 100% and I'll go ahead and click on sell BTC, confirm the details. If everything looks good, click on confirm. And now we've placed our third order onto the order book. In this case here, if price action moves to the upside, hitting our first target, I'll be selling one third of what I own. If price action keeps going and hits my second target, I'll be selling half of what remains. And if price continues from there, I'll be selling the remainder of my coins up at this price point here. And of course, we can find the details of these orders down here at the bottom left hand side of the screen under open orders, click on limit orders. And here's where you'll find your orders that you've placed on the order book. If at any point you want to modify these or cancel them, just come over here on the right hand side underneath operation. If you want to modify it, click here where it says modify. You'll get a pop up window and here's where you can change the amount as well as the price point of your target if you wish, then you'd click on confirm. If you want to cancel any of these, you can cancel them individually by clicking the cancel button right here next to modify, or you can simply click on cancel all just above operation. I'll go ahead and click on confirm. And as you can see, I just canceled all three of those orders. Now I'll show you how to do this using trigger market orders. What we'll do is we'll come back down here to the order panel and we'll select trigger orders. Now we'll come over here and next to price, you'll find this little box that says limit order. Give that a click and we'll move this over to market orders. Now let's go ahead and put in our targets again. So our first target coming in at 28,428. If this price point gets hit, the coins will sell at the best available price off of the order book. Now we'll choose the total amount of the asset we wish to sell at that first target. Let's just do the same thing. I'll go ahead and click on sell. Now we can see that the order type is a trigger order. 
So if this price point is hit right here at 28,428, the coins will sell at the best available price from the order book as a market order. And then down below that, we can see the amount of the coins we'll be selling. So I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm. That looks good to me. And let's do the other two targets. So the next target we have coming in at 31,609. And we'll go ahead and do another not point not not one. Click on sell. Confirm. Second target is set. Now we'll do the last target. So we'll do 34,223. And we'll sell what remains of our coins. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'll click on sell BTC. Confirm. And now I've set three take profit targets. We can find the details of those orders if we come down here, bottom left hand side of the screen. Underneath open orders, click where it says trigger orders. And here's where you'll find the details of those orders. We can see our trigger prices right here. So we can double check, make sure those are all looking correct. And then we can see the amounts that will sell if our triggers get hit. Of course, the status of these is waiting because price action has not reached our trigger condition. At any point, if you want to modify these, you come over here on the right hand side and just click on the modify button. You'll get a pop up window where you can modify the details of your trigger order. If you want to cancel these, you can cancel them individually under operation by using the cancel button or just simply click on cancel all. Now, as you can see, I removed all of those trigger orders. When it comes to setting take profit targets on the spot market, typically I'll just use the limit order option. And normally you'll save on fees by using a limit order. But in some cases, traders will use a trigger market order. So I thought I would demonstrate both methods in this video. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis in order to choose which price targets make the most sense for your particular situation. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you set multiple take profits on the BitGet Spot Exchange. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more BitGet tutorials in a playlist on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check those out as well. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.